They're nothing new, so what makes her special? Well, she's got AI. She's one of the first dolls with AI, so she's got, you can actually interact with her verbally and physically, so she's got sensors. We, we've, a, we've actually we've turned her off yes. Um, yes. so that she doesn't come out with anything... Um, in of, course. Uh, in of course. Yeah. Yes. Good idea. Um, why, why, why? Why is this necessary? Why is it necessary? Well, we believe, as a company, Synthematis, that the sex robot... It's not, it's not to replace people. We're not trying to replace yeah. women. It's not about that. It's as a supplement, like I explained in previous interviews, it's a supplement to help people and I believe it, it can do that. I think it can help people enhance their relationship. What does she do? She, like I say, you can talk to her, so you can interact, you can tell her you love her, she'll respond. And she'll say this. I love you too. Mm. And then she might go on to say... Do you think we could get more sensual? And then... I can take many times much more love, um, just because you uh, can give it. Oh, didn't and like to... oh. I take it all. Oh. oh, then I didn't like to inter interrupt no, her then, interrupt. but uh, in, in, in full flow. I mean, it's a bit like making love to a car GPS, isn't it? No, I don't think so. Humans love human form. So, obviously, I think she's very beautiful. Would you agree she's beautiful? No. She's no. a doll. She's a doll. I mean, it's not... It's, the thing is, you can't get away from the fact that she's not real. I mean, I know the, the one thing that's different about her also is her skin texture. Of, yes, um, yes. And this is something that, I mean, we've all seen those blow-up dolls, um, which are very plasticky yeah. and very unrealistic. And she has special skin that's meant to feel like human skin to the touch. I don't know how much you know about sex dolls, but... Not if much. You look, not much, maybe not much. OK, I'll, I'll explain. The vast majority of sex dolls either come from the US or yeah. China. In general, they're all one colour, so the texture... If you look at the texture on, on Samantha, you can see... It's actually like real skin. It's not. It's ingrained with the different textures. It's not one plain colour, which all the other sex dolls on the market are. Right. I, 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 when she was brought in this morning, and mm. uh, and Holly and I were introduced to her, I did actually touch her arm, and and I and it, this is me. Uh, I found it really quite unnerving that it was quite a good feeling of skin, but was cold. Yeah. It was. She's like a corpse. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well. The reason that we don't heat her up, it, it, it can be done, it could be heated up, but she runs on uh, a 12-volt battery pack, which, obviously, for heat, that, that's not enough. It needs mm. to be a lot higher than that. So we're working on ways where she can be linked to a higher power source, and then she could be warm. Now, you're, you're saying that, that, that females have sex aids, that they're using vibrators, it's now very accepted as part of our society. And well, they fit in the drawer. They fit in the mm. drawer, this is my point. Where are you going to hide that? I mean, people that have children around... I mean, okay. it would be quite frightening if a child found that in your wardrobe. Well, I had two children myself, and they actually... This, she's got... Samantha has a family mode, which oh, no, it's, in, it's impossible... She what, she's going to read the kids a bedtime story? She can talk about animals, she can talk about philosophy, she can talk about science. She's got a programme with a thousand jokes, which is at random, so I don't know all of them. So there's a lot to Samantha. She's, she's advanced. And so you... So, so... You can switch her over to the family mode and what and have her sitting on the sofa amongst the family. Yes, yes. My children, they say, "Where's Samantha?" So she can be at home. You just ask her, for example, "Tell me something about your children." And she will. At some point, they're going to know. I mean, how old are they? They're young. Uh, five and three. So and they some... ask where she is. Yes, yeah. They say, and when we brought her in the car, they really, they really enjoy. But at some point, they're going to go. I'm now old enough to realise that Samantha, Daddy, Daddy has sex with Samantha, and. Samantha's not mummy. Is that not is that not a bit strange? No, I think the world's changing. I believe the world's changing. But it doesn't mean it's changing for the better, does it? And I mean, I think with AI particularly, one of the things that we're realising in psychology is that sometimes just because we can do something doesn't mean that we should do it. And I think sex dolls are a perfect example because when you look at Japan, for example, and that is the place that we can kind of identify as being leaders in this field, they've created child sex dolls. They've also created dolls that you can set to a particular setting which simulates an unwanted response. And actually what we're saying is we're objectifying women, but worse than that, we're commercialising and becoming consumers of women's bodies in this way. This is not real. She is not called Samantha. She's a piece of whatever you've made. She's got voices that are simulated that aren't human. Certainly having your children are, around are them doing is, any is harm? worrying. Because, yes. because within your relationship with your, with your wife... Who's on the other side of the studio. Who's here, you incorporate her into your lovemaking. She's part, she's part of it. <clears throat> yes, I think it's... People That's paraphilia, isn't it? We're talking paraphilia here. We're talking a particular sexual fetish. That's not actually what we consider normal spectrum. 
What, what is what's, normal? What's what's normal exactly? Yeah, no, I disagree with that because I don't know. You know, the, the, if you're not harming anybody, if you're not doing anybody any harm, what where where does normal start and end? Uh, let me. Your 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 wife is over there. We've so many ha had so many people on Hannah, uh, <laughs> okay. and the, when the guy is sat here, and uh, my my wife is absolutely whether it is swinging or you know sort of whatever it is, and you you look at the wife's face and you can see her thinking, oh dear God, no. <laughs> Are you happy with this? Yes, I am. Totally happy with yes. having Samantha on your sofa with your kids around? Yes, completely. And why, do you, why are you comfortable with it as a woman? Um, you know, we as a woman, we, you know, um, I'm not um, be offended to have her around. Yeah. Or I'm not being, you know, like worried that she um, might be... Um, Replacing yeah. you? No, no, not at all. She's just uh, someone there, you know, as a, like a family member. Why didn't you... Um, is he going to make a bloke for you? <laughs> no, not at all. You know, I'm not worried at all because I'm not replaceable by, you know, Samantha. Yeah. Um, she's actually um, helped us to enhance our relationship.